Oh, so this is what a Christian action movie looks like. Persecuted is the latest Christploitation flick to hit the mainstream cinema, this time about a preacher who, for whatever reason, finds himself at the center of a government plot to discredit him, which will somehow allow them to institute a bill that I'm thinking has something to do with making all religions equal or combining them into one. It's actually not very clear. And to be honest, not very much is in this mess of a film. Now, before I have to start dissecting this, though, let's start with a good thing. I want to give best thing props to the director of photography on this. At least you tried to mix things up a bit. There were actually a few moments here where I felt a bit of ingenuity on shot selection and process. I mean, it wasn't Greg Tolan, Citizen Kane type stuff or anything, but at least you didn't just log off the cameras and shoot blanks. So well done. Now if you only had something interesting to film. Seriously, this is just a bad movie all around. Even with a few decent actors in it, Bruce Davidson and Dean Stockwell among them, some of these performances are just hard to watch and ridiculously melodramatic. That is, of course, emphasized by the fact that the music is intrusive, the plot points are meaningless, and there are these long scenes of exposition that somehow don't clear anything up, but just further muddle an already incomprehensible story. I mean, why is this pastor so important again? Why is the government so keen on this bill? What does the bill even do? Plus, the religious stuff gets so heavy-handed at the end that it's obvious the filmmakers were out to make a statement rather than make a movie. Seriously, you want to make an action thriller? Then do it. Hire Bruce Willis for the lead. Iron out the story details and make a great flick that still gets across your message about persecution without resorting to propagandic filmmaking. There's an actual, real persecution in this world of many people, including Christians, but making a movie like this only makes the issue seem silly and preposterous and short circuits any truth that might be hiding underneath. And if there is any truth in here, it's hiding very well. When it comes right down to it, Persecuted is an awful movie with an unclear plot and a clear agenda. Any semblance of a decent message is completely obfuscated by its heavy handedness and poor execution. Only a few clever camera shots keep it at a D. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. You can stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. But first, I want to throw some stuff up over here that you can click on. If you'd want to subscribe, I'd very much appreciate that. You can do that by clicking on the big gray subscribe button. If you want to see more, well, I've got reviews of Hercules, Lucy, and Wish I Was Here that were also out this week. You can also click the logo right up here to go to the all new yourmoviefriend.com where you can find a searchable database of reviews as well as the written text of these videos. And finally, this review's best ever challenge where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify my choice. It's a strange one, but let's go with what is the best Bruce Davison movie ever? Mine is the one where he dissolved into a puddle of goo. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments, and the first person to guess mine does get that point. Thanks, and please subscribe.